What's up guys? John Inman, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Got a little bit of sauna strainage this morning, but headed to Lake Chickamauga today. Actually, unless I change my mind and go to Nigga Jack. The reason is it is 28 degrees outside. We're still gonna go try to catch some largemouth bass. Some big old uh, Mondo bass. Uh, I, got, I got some special guests today. They're all excited. We're sitting still, so we're not buckled up yet. But Reagan and Maya. Reagan, tell the world what you're doing today and and what's going on in your life. I'm going to school. What are you gonna do? You think? Is Watch it movies for my recess. Oh, that's fun. Why are you gonna? Why are you not gonna play outside? It's too cold. Yeah, and also, um, we've been fighting. You've been fighting? No, I didn't. You but didn't? Other people have been fighting. Alright, yeah. Good for you, though. You know it? Hey. Amen. Yes, sir, sister. Hey. Is Dad going to catch and eat bass today? Um, I usually think no, but both things I think too. I think yes and no. Yeah, so a 50 50 chance. Thank you and for I'll that play awesome. The Lord. And you what? Play the Lord. Thank you. That makes that makes a dad proud right there. Think yes. Thank you, Reagan. That's faith. Amaya, mm -hmm. dad gonna catch any fish today? No. Yeah. Knuckles. I actually think yeah too. What? Knuckles peer pressure. Oh, here we go, guys. So I'm gonna catch some fish today. I got some prayers going up, and uh, but it is cold, and if I do, we'll see. So. Here's the situation. <clears throat> I've got this new little, I forgot who makes this bad boy, but it is a, that's well, a Kitek, but um, it's got an underspin. I may throw it instead of the blade. It's got a little flash to it, but I can roll it slow. <laughs> oh. I felt that one coming. Mm -hmm. Oh, dang it. That's where I'm losing. Good one. Hmm. Close. Good pounder. Number four. Underspin working all right. <clears> hey <throat> right, guys, just caught this little guy. Good small mouth. I like him. It's pretty. It's good fish. Let's see what? Good bite too. I had my camera uh, had to delete because I don't have but one good memory card so let's just do that again just retrieving it slowly oh 
Oh, I'm in them, man. Some, something. No, 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 no. Don't, don't shake it off. Don't, don't shake it off. Oh, these are good fish, man. These are good fish. It's good. Two for two. Stir it up, down there. For three. Don't get in the trouble, motor. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, I think he did it. Oh, he did. I think I know how to get him. Stop, 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 stop. Let's see if this works. Oh, he got off, you sucker. I <laughs> hope you saw that, man. Ah. Get out of here quick. Man, that was, that was cool. Not as big, but hey, I'll take them, man. Let's uh, let's see. Is that four for four or no? Four for five. Oh, cool. That bitty guy. I'll take him. What's up, guys? Just got this bad boy. I have to I have to tape it because my it's blinking, but I have no space on memory card, so I gotta let this guy go. I'm into them, dude. They're they are everywhere, and so just so you guys know, I'm not lying. I just caught this pole. This is the second pole I've caught in my life, but uh, I pulled it up. These workers were driving by. I pulled this pole up out of the water. It's a little Sienna Shimano with a HTO Express. I don't know what it is. Anyways, so I'm pulling that out of the water. I don't know what's, but I, I but I felt it shaking. So couldn't find out it was a bass on the end of it, and he had a hook down, like a circle hook, in uh, his uh, like way down deep. So I got it out, and he lived. But that was just cool. So I didn't get it on video. I thought I had it all on video. I was like excited to show you. But um, anyways, that's what happened. So I'm gonna keep catching some bass. Stay tuned. One more. Hey, hey, who saw me catch the rod and reel? You saw it, didn't you? Uh -uh. Alright, I got I got proof. Y'all have a good night. What is up guys? John Inman. And I wanted to just uh, really quick here at the end of the video, um, take a minute and just tell you what happened yesterday. I didn't get a chance because my memory card filled up, and so I'm trying to fish and they're killing it. I mean I probably caught, you know, fifteen, you know, different smallmouth spot, different things. Um, but uh, and that's great for this time of year. Water temperatures are in the 40s, low, low 50, maybe 50. And we just had a cold front come through, really, really severe cold front. And um, so to catch fish, it was really fun. And um, so, but anyways, at the end of the day, I go to crank my motor. And I told you at the beginning of the video that I was going to fish Nickajack. I'm sorry, Chickamauga. I was actually still in Nickajack, uh, right on as far as you could get to the end of Nickajack, the upper end. 
and um, I was at the dam and went to crank my motor to get out of there because the temperature's starting to drop and it won't crank. So I called my dad and my dad might need your help. He's like, not much I can do. His boat's not here right now. And so I was like, well, I'm just going to troll it. And so I began trolling down and looked at my little handheld device for my Altera and the battery's starting to die on it. So I have to get up on the manual and troll. And I've got the current in my back. So I'm, I'm miles away from my, the, the boat ramp where I put in. And um, so I actually, actually see this boat just speed by me. And I was like, oh, man, well, too bad. Uh, but they stop about 400 yards up and fish a little bit before they're going in. I didn't know that at the time. But as I got about 200 yards, I waved them down. But they didn't have jumper cables or anything. So I was about 200 yards now from the boat dock. And so I said, I'm just going to try to, my luck to get there. Well, they go put their boat on, but he kind of sticks around. And um, I had just enough battery, just enough battery to um, get my Ulterra um, over to the dock and get it stowed. What's that mean? That means if I don't get that stowed, I can't load the boat. And I'm in a very big pickle. Um, so anyways, it, it was awesome, but he asked me, would you like for me to stay around? This guy's name is Greg. He, um, and at the end of the video here, I'll, I'll put a picture of him cause I asked him if I could. And, uh, but Greg stayed around. Not only did he stay around, um, but since the motor would never crank, we had to put the boat on manually and he actually got his shoes wet in, you know, I don't, you know, 45 degree water, 48 degree water. Um, you know, I mean, that, that was just something that was really cool and shout out hats off to you, Greg. I appreciate your help. And, uh, man, it turned out it was a great day of fishing, but it was a cold trip back. I'll tell you that. But, um, man, it was just wonderful. And I, and I, I praise God for that, for, for just providing enough battery to get there. And then, um, also providing uh, a fellow fisherman that would stick around and help and, uh, Really appreciate it. Appreciate it, man.